uh, you were rock crawling and you were likely breaking differentials. Oh yeah. So I want to know how I can make it better. Well, let's buy the yeah. company and let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, so that's basically what happened. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. Get on Drive podcast. We are here at SEMA 2022 and we are hanging out in the racing junk booth and we have a wonderful guest, Cora. I cannot pronounce your last name, and I'm going to butcher it, so I'm going to let fine. you do it. Hi, I'm Cora Jokinen from Torque Masters Industries. Um, I'm the owner of that company. We manufacture locking differentials, and uh, I'm also a SEMA Business Women Select Committee member, and I'd love to talk to you today about the SBN all-female Bronco build that we unveiled earlier this week. Oh, yes. That is I'm famous. really looking forward to that. Yes, yes. Yeah. That is a super killer build. Well, I'd love to hear about it. Um, tell us about uh, where you came up from and how you got here to SEMA. Uh, so my personal story, mm -hmm. um, I used to be a sponsored rock crawler. Okay. And doing amateur competitive rock crawling. And my title sponsor was in our local Jeep club. I was good friends with him. Mm -hmm. Fast forward about 10 years, uh, he was looking to retire and I bought his company. Oh, wow. So that was... Customer to company. Yeah. That was eight years ago. Okay. Um, since then, I've tripled the size of the company. Um, I have six patents and releasing new and innovative products. Wow. Every year. Do, do you have a, uh, a booth here that is uh, showcasing products or no? I do not. Okay. So our technology is pretty specific. Okay. Um, so it's a locking differential. It's a drop-in style, so it just replaces mm -hmm. the spider gears. Mm -hmm. And we've innovated um, some design features, because there's other competitors in the same space. This style of locker has been around since the 1990s, mm -hmm. um, but we've moved it into power sports. We've moved it into CUVs. Okay. Uh, we've moved it into modern Toyotas, and, and a lot of part numbers were the only one in the category. Wow. So that's really cool. So you're not just a rock crawler and a business owner, mm -hmm. but you're an engineer? Well, kind of. Okay. <laughs> tell, tell, us, tell us a little bit about how you, like, how are you getting to the point of being able to, to patent these things and come up with your own part numbers and, yeah. and specific bills? Like, well, um, I used to be an architect. Okay. Um, and nights and weekends, my husband and I, we were in the shop building, welding, and working on Jeeps. And... So I have the, the technical ability to read CAD drawings and draw my own stuff, but I do have an engineer as well. Okay. And we have a design and we scale it to different differentials. Okay. So when it comes to developing new products, it's really not that hard. Just applying it's, that it's technology to something else. Right, yeah. right. So right. we have like a spreadsheet. It's what's this dimension to here? What's this dimension to here? Mm -hmm. And that's how we extrapolate and design a new product. That's pretty cool. Like, so when you when you decide that this is what you wanted to do, uh, you were rock crawling and you were likely breaking differentials. Oh yeah. So I want to know how I can make it better. Well, let's buy the yeah. company and let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, so that's basically what happened. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. Yeah. Look, I know everyone wants to get out and drive, but it's been difficult with the price of gas lately. But get out and drive doesn't have to mean physically driving your ride. Get out and drive means sharing your auto repair skills with the next generation. Hashtag what drives youth. Get out and drive means watching a classic road trip movie or something with a cool chase scene. Get out and drive means hosting a car show or a cruise. Get out and drive means working on that project car to get it ready to get out and drive. Get out and drive means get those toy cars, hot wheels, remote control cars and die casts and burn up the pavement. Get Out and Drive means supporting organizations that help keep the automotive industry and hobby alive. What does Get Out and Drive mean to you? Let us know by leaving a message on our listener hotline. Just go to getoutanddrive.com, scroll to the bottom of the page, and click the listener hotline button. So you're here at SEMA. Uh -huh. So what capacity within SEMA are you here? So I am a SBN, SEMA Business Women's Network select committee member okay. um, I've been on the select committee for about two years it, it's a position that you get voted into okay um, I've really enjoyed it and the, the networking that we do and also the outreach we do for younger generations mm -hmm. and then 10 years ago 
the SBN built a Mustang. And there were a bunch of great women on there, including Jesse Combs, and uh, they had zero money. Okay. So it was all just through networking and borrowing garages, and, and they made it, and they did it. Oh, wow. And so now, fast forward 10 years, we actually started on this two years ago, mm -hmm. when there were no Ford Broncos, we were like, we want to do a Ford Bronco. Right. And so it took about a year <laughs> to convince <laughs> Ford, and then we finally got our hands on one. Okay. And it took us about a year intensively to get to this point today. Okay. Wow. A lot of planning. Yeah. Um, how many people and uh, what are the age range of the people that were working on it? So we had um, 150 volunteers. And because this was so massive, we had to have different task forces. I see. So I headed up the parts task force mm -hmm. with Rebecca. Um, and then there was a volunteer task force that mm -hmm. managed the volunteers. You know, we had to get t-shirt sizes and information and phone numbers. Cause we a lot all of logistics. Got... Yeah, very important. Um, then we had a marketing task force. Okay. And then we had the build task force. The actual hands-on right. part assembly. Right. Mm -hmm. So I actually never touched the Bronco and I have hundreds of hours into it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that just shows the dedication that uh, you know people within, not just who are exhibitors mm -hmm. uh, in SEMA, but people who are kind of behind the scenes. Right. You know, we talked about this with other interviewers that you know there's a lot of information and a lot of stuff to compile to make SEMA happen. That yes. it doesn't happen two weeks beforehand. Right. Like they're they're already planning for 2023. Mm -hmm. uh, so this this uh, Bronco build is it on display here? Yes, it is. Where can we find it? Uh, West Hall. Okay. And it's in it's right near the West Hall Members Lounge. Okay. So you can find it there, and the Mustang is there, well, there from ten years ago. Wow. So that was really cool. So age ranges. We had hands-on uh, volunteers that were in their teens mm -hmm. up to in their sixties. We had multiple mother and daughter pairs mm -hmm. come out. Um, we had a lot of students come out. Uh, we actually had. For the build schedule, we did two weeks in California at the SEMA garage. Okay. And when they were there on the build days, um, they spent a few days over at UTI doing some painting. Mm -hmm. And they had a, a female instructor there helping and students working on it. And uh, the instructor, she was sharing a story that most of her students are, are male. Okay. And so when she brought in 40 women wow. <laughs> of all different ages, right, it stopped right. the show. Wow. And she was like, I just want these guys to see that there are this many women mm -hmm. that are into automotive. We just may be a little more spread out across the country. Right, right. And and that's one of our biggest pushes and, and, and what we strive to say is what drives youth. And I'm glad to see that you're youth oriented mm -hmm. and you're bringing people into the industry and helping them out and explaining what you need to do because everyone needs to know it's not always hands on. There are business applications, uh, all sorts of things, mm -hmm. financial, uh, even even um, learning how to do the trade and being a mentor yourself. Mm -hmm. You don't always have to be hands on putting an engine in a car. The, the trade is extremely large absolutely yeah and and i'm glad that you're sharing that with other people uh the everybody that was on your build team are they uh going to college or officially in the trade or did you have any i would consider lay men lay women <laughs> yeah we did had people that that were not in the trade yeah. that that wanted to help you had something like that yeah. also so on one of our volunteer task force spreadsheets we had lots of spreadsheets right <laughs> um we asked the girls to fill out a survey of what they may be good at, mm -hmm. what they may want to learn. Okay. And so the volunteers kind of worked it together to pair the right people at the right time for mm -hmm. the right parts. Wow. So there were super advanced skilled people mm -hmm. and there were ladies who work in marketing and were like, I want to be a part of this. Teach me. Wow. No. And how did they find out about you? Uh, was it social media push or yeah, word of mouth oh, yeah. or word of mouth social media um mm -hmm. the sema newsletter okay we put out a, a couple big broadcasts uh we asked for parts donations uh we asked for renderings 
Okay. So we had a rendering contest that was pretty cool. We had 50 submissions. Okay. Uh, and then um, we've just been keeping the public and the SEMA mm -hmm. people in the loop because they, they want articles. They want to know what's going yes. on. Yeah, they want to be on the forefront of it. And, and it also uh, it, it helps with getting the word out there uh -huh. with an all-female build team. Just absolutely incredible. Yeah. So um, talking about parts. Mm -hmm. So um, we had multiple submissions for one item. Okay. So say tires, for example, mm -hmm. or other other examples. So we had a design criteria. Okay. And because we're partnered with Ford and SEMA, mm -hmm. we had to run things through them too. Right, right. But um, so our top criteria was woman-owned business. They they went to the top of the list. Right. They went sure. to the top of the list. Uh, next was women in leadership. Okay. And then next was Ford strategic partners. Mm -hmm. And then next was made in USA. Very nice. So that was our our ranking system. And then okay. also the design criteria for the build itself mm -hmm. was we wanted to design a Bronco for a woman overlander. Okay. And one thing that's pretty popular now, especially in the CUV uh, world, is car camping. Oh, yeah. And so car camping for a woman, if she's out in the middle of the desert by herself, is safer than a tent or even a rooftop tent. I see. And so um, Goose Gear has a seat delete system mm -hmm. that makes a really nice platform. Um, and then there's cubbies and access underneath where you can stow stuff. And so the platform goes in the back, and then there's a drawer for storage of safety gear and recovery gear, and then a refrigerator and another drawer for a stove. Wow. So basically, you have recovery gear, spares, tools, mm -hmm. a kitchen, a sleeping platform. A company called Deep Sleep mm -hmm. uh, makes custom-fitted air mattresses. Wow. So we have one that's specifically for the... It's called a 60-40 delete, so sure, we still sure. have the 40 jump seat. Okay. And then we took out the 60% of the seat. Okay. Uh, so they have a 60-40 inflatable mattress. I'm learning a lot today. I think that's absolutely amazing that, you know, we're, that our industry is kind of steering in the direction of bringing women to the forefront. And I'm not against that at all. I think it's absolutely amazing. If there's somebody out there that's listening to us right now that has uh, a wife, a daughter, a sister, grandmother, whatever, mm -hmm. that wants to be a part of what you're doing, how do they reach out to you? How do they become that volunteer? How do they get involved? So the SEMA Business Women's Network um, has a sign up uh, part on the SEMA website. So if you search SBN SEMA, you're likely going to land on that page. You can check out our mission statement. You can uh, see who the select committee members are, and then uh, you can sign up through there. Wow. I'm excited to see what's going to be coming up through this uh, in the future. Wow. Yes. Is there, is there a current build going on right now that they're, that they're working for for next year? Um, I think this is a one in 10 year thing. Oh, you think so? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was, it was a ton of effort. And then with SBN, we're all volunteers. Sure. But we do have paid SEMA staff that's uh, Nicole, who's amazing, mm -hmm. um, and her full-time job is being our liaison. Okay. And so she's setting up our task force meetings. Uh, she's, you know, just involved in everything. So So you are looking to the future anyway. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, definitely we want to do it again. But it's like any SEMA build, once you get here, the car's on the floor, you're like, I'm done for a bit. <laughs> yeah. Waiting to exhale. Yeah. Well, and you, you never know, there just might be that next level yeah. that may come in that says, you know what, we, we want to get this going. We, we want to do that. And I'm like I said, I'm excited to see what SBN has coming up for the future. Yeah. yeah. So are we. Great. Cora, thank you so much for yeah. taking a little bit of time with us today. Thanks for having me. Thanks so much. Yeah, this All was right. awesome. All right. <laughs> racing Junk is the number one racing and performance marketplace where you can post your racing junk for free. Parts, engines, race cars, trailers, project builds, muscle cars, chassis, tires, and so much more. Buy, sell, trade, and browse on racing junk and turn your garage into cash in your pocket. Or find that next dream on the site 
built by gearheads for gearheads. And best of all, there's no transaction fees. 100% of what you make through your ad is yours to keep. Cruise on over to our website, getoutanddrive.com, for all the info you never wanted to know about our podcast. Hit us up on our listener hotline, be the first to know what's happening, get industry news, and grab your Get Out and Drive merch. Connect with us on social media. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Follow us on Twitter at Get Out and Drive Pod. What drives you? 